a super compact 3-in-1 67 watts charger from Novo. This is an AC power meter and you can see the power consumption goes up to nearly 70 watts, a slightly higher than the rated 67 watts. It's great for travel. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna do plenty of charging tests using different uh, small devices and high power consumption devices and show you what, what it's capable of and its power distribution. Uh, that is a photo I took from a hotel when I was traveling in Iceland. And they are, um, and this is the only compact fast charger that I brought with me in that trip. And it performed beautifully. I guess a lot of uh, people probably don't realize. So um, it is compatible with uh, the 100 volts to 240 volts. It's a wide voltage uh, adapter. So you can safely use it in, the, in Europe, in Japan, China, USA, Australia. So it doesn't matter. Automatically handles the different voltage. I think that is a huge thing. Um, modern chargers should be able to handle it if you're shopping for a charger and if it doesn't do that then you have a trouble if you travel internationally. Second, it comes with two high quality USB Type-C to USB-C cables which are connected to those MacBook Pros. I have 14 inch with M3 chip and the one uh, 16 inch with the M1 Pro chip. So these are one of different length. One is about uh, five feet long. The other one is uh, three and a half feet long. Well, coming back to the charger, I want to uh, quickly show you some details. When it's con uh, connected, it's barely consuming any electricity. It's sort of coming online to check if the ports are uh, occupied. So the first one is a USB-C 1, USB-C 2 and USB Type-A, uh, the legacy USB-A port. So you, you can charge three devices at the same time. When only one port is connected, it will be able to output uh, 65 to 67 watts of power. Let me connect just one port, you know, using the large MacBook Pro 16 inch. So the first port is designed for laptops. Uh, for if you have multiple devices connected, the first port will take priority and will get the maximum 40 watts distribution and the rest USB-C 2 and USB-A will get 40 watts combined. But the total power consumption will not exceed 67 watts. Well, it looks like the other laptop is almost fully charged. Therefore, let me try the, uh, this laptop which is on. And um, when the second port is connected, then it will be able to slowly charge the other laptop. It's not ideal for this case, but if you're traveling alone, if you only have one laptop, uh, a iPad, a headphone, or battery bank, this is ideal. I traveled with my whole family, you know, four people. We have Nintendo Switch all sorts of uh, stuff uh, that the other adapter is powering the low power consumption devices like these earbuds, but you can totally charge the earbuds using the USB-A port. And it's also safe. I want to point out it is safe to see. Whoa, it's 67. <laughs> Look at this. I think I just saw 77 watts. Anyway, um, it is safe to use the USB-C port to USB-C port to charge the Bose earbuds, for example, because the charging current or the wattage output is determined by the device, not by the charger. So it is totally safe to do that. Uh, just as a quick demo, I'm going to connect this little USB-C adapter in the middle well it's kind of hard to do have to disconnect this one just to show you using the most powerful um, port 
for charging laptops, you can still safely handle the Bose earbuds and it's outputting about 5.6 watts. So earbuds, Apple, um, iPhone 15, iPhone 15 right here, earbuds, hair, uh, AirPods, headphones, doesn't matter. As long as it takes in um, the USB-C port or micro USB, doesn't matter, uh, then it should be able to be charged by this one. It has the latest GAN um, second gen tech, so it does not get hot. It's warm, but it's not hot at all. Uh, and here's the thing. If the device is almost fully charged at 92%, you will not get the uh, maximum speed. As you can see, although the first port is rated can deliver 67 watts to my laptop, it can safely charge the iPhone and um, it's, it's doing it automatically without any intervention. Okay, so if I do this, connect it to my MacBook Pro, 14 inch. You can see the output is gonna be uh, the set. Okay, the, this, well, the first port is connected to my MacBook. It's outputting 20 volts and uh, 2.5 amps. It's 57 and 60 watts right now. And now I can connect it to my large battery bank that can take in 100 and uh, I think it's 140 watts maximum. Have a little magnet there, which is kind of blocking. Hopefully it doesn't uh, damage the port. And I can get another screen to see the charging status. I'm also getting 20 volts, 2.1 amps. So this one is connected to the second port. Um, the input is 20 watts. I can confirm that the second USB-C port can output a maximum of 20 watts when the first port is occupied and is charging my MacBook Pro. Look, the total power consumption is higher than two connect laptop connected. It's, it's over 70 watts right now. So it, I'm really pushing it to the limit using this setup. So I'm getting 20 watts here. And let's see here. We got 44 watts. So 20 plus 44, that's 64.6 uh, watts. And I have an even uh, more legacy USB meter. So when this one is connected, I'll connect it to my uh, tablet, USB-C connection. And if I zoom in, let's see. Yeah, I think this one is not working. My, my power meter is dead. I think this one is dead. But if I plug in the third device, see what happens. Yeah, I can hear the uh, chime from my tablet. I think it is charging right now. Yes, 85%. 85% and it is charging from my... So the, the wattage dropped to 10.5 watts when the third device is, is connected. So that's cool. And the total power consumption maintained at 70 watts. So it can still do, do its thing to uh, maximize its um, peak out, output performance while distributing the 20 watts amount these two. Just so keep in mind, use smaller device for these two and always uh, connect the m more power hungry device like a laptop and iPad with the first port, and this is totally verified. So if you are, tr uh, this is 40 watts, yes. That that matches the its specification perfectly. So I think if you're traveling solo with only a laptop, a couple of battery banks, tablets, iPhone, earbuds, this thing should do the job, especially if you uh, put a, 
you know the battery bank into the equation store the energy here you will get you can still you know charge other device when you're charging this battery bank and when you're not doing this you you, you can refill the earbuds and charge other things with this um, you can get a smaller one but the idea is if, if you want to travel super lightweight you you should get something like this instead of getting a bigger uh, like over 100 watts charger that could be a lot heavier and this is like weighs like two eggs um yeah it's a really cool device um and it helped a lot in my travel uh to iceland and i was able to put everything in my backpack really cool charger from novo Thanks for watching.